Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner. Since the first tax scandal, the LuxLeaks, a few years ago, our Liberal group has always encountered fair taxation, transparency and improvement in effectiveness. This is still the case today. In Renew Europe, we respect the tax system, remain a national competence. However, we also think that tax fairness is a core value, especially when it comes to the main engine of our economy, small and medium enterprises. At any cost, we have to make sure they do not suffer competitive disadvantage to large international players. They exploit the fact that the taxation is largely linked to physical residents and use it as a method of tax optimization. This is mostly relevant in the digital taxation sector, in these difficult times that we are experiencing in the pandemic. The pandemic has radically changed our consumption patterns, negatively impacted national budgets, and digitalized enterprises have become winners of this situation. They sharply increase the volume of business and profits. As a moral imperative and a responsibility to our society, we need to make sure they will contribute their fair share back as every other company and as every other citizen. For this reason, we, to, we have to make sure more than ever that Europe has a clear and fair taxation strategy. This is a global issue, however. And this is why we clearly vote for international solution. We have been waiting for long for our international partners to credibly join our efforts. So let me make this clear. This is our last attempt. We shall see an agreement in OECD by this summer. In our report, that will be voted today and that enjoys a very broad support across political families. We want to emphasize that should the international talks fail, Europe will adopt its own strategy, its own levy. Some European countries have anticipated this and have already implemented the digital tax. We do not look at these unilateral measures as a sign of weakness or fragmentation. On the contrary, we believe that they paved the way to a real change, to a European solution. The recent moves in the US administration show signs of positive changes, hopefully a progress towards a solution on global digital taxation. But we are not there yet. And I am now addressing kindly European Commission. We cannot simply sit on our hands and rely on global talks. We had this situation two years back and shall not repeat the mistake. Let's make sure we are prepared. Let's design our own digital levy before summer. And let's finally prove that Europe is fit for digital age. Thank you.